NerdsReviews.com presents Nerds Talking, the podcast. Yo, we talk about lightsabers, stunning your TV screens, what you want to stream, everything beyond your dreams. Want to talk about movies, sports, or even politics. Go ahead and tune into us, we'll give you all of it. Whatever you debate, an Xbox or PlayStation, Marvel or DC, Mac or PC. Teraflops when the movie drops, gigabytes, chips, RAM, no matter what it is, we got all of it. Welcome to the show. Nerds Talking, the podcast. Welcome to Nerds Talking, the podcast. Season one, episode two. I am here with Carlos. Hey. Dennis. Yep. And our guest of today, Maurice. So, oh, and he is a online gamer. And um, we're going to be talking about online gaming, streaming, oh. um, consoles, gaming in general. Yay! So we'll start the conversation with our guest here, Maurice, because he is a streamer. Round one. Uh, first of all, how many? Oh, what do you stream? What do you typically play? What's your go-to? Uh, go-to game right now is Warzone. Call of Duty. Um, Cod Warzone. It's pretty much like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So now, just on Battle Royals. On PC, I take it. On PC, yeah. I tried doing the PS4, and then I, I was introduced to the PC world, and then I've never looked back. And what do you uh, stream on? What's your platform? Uh, I use Facebook Gaming. Uh, oh yeah. Just decided to go with that. I mean, uh, there you go. And then there, give me your give me your is specs. It, is there a reason you went with that um, versus like you know Twitch or? I feel like you know. with uh, with Twitch, you're looking at like everybody's on Twitch. Mm-hmm. You have, uh, I'd be a, a small fish in a really really big pond, and my avenue because of some other stuff that I do on Facebook. I have a bigger, like a broader spectrum of like followers that I could already bring over from that avenue to Facebook gaming than other than from Facebook to Twitch. It would. And how many how many followers you got typically on your streams? Uh, like since I've started, I'm up to three three hundred and thirty followers. Oh, that's pretty good. That's not bad. Yeah, and it's just and mainly if it's like I want to say probably like. 50% 50% is family and friends. And then the other 50% is people that I've picked up from other people's streams that I've been friends with, that I've become friends with over the time of playing with those streamers. Yeah. And I assume those family and friends talk shit to you when you play all the time. Yeah. That's yeah, all yeah. I get. I would do the same. I like all Maurice, I get. Keep shooting. Hope you die again. Yeah. 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 I get it all the yeah, time. Sounds, like, oh, dude, you're trash. Right. How did you not see that guy? <laughs> and, oh, well, I know. Well, you love the hindsight, right? Yeah. He's right always. there. He's right there. You're like, he's right. Well, I'm playing the game. You're just on the sideline, of course. Yeah. You, you're actually paying attention to everything while I'm only seeing like Yeah. <laughs> right. So, like, what are your specs? What, what, P, what kind of PC do you use? Do you like Alienware or did you customize it? Uh, Kind of built my, um, built my own. I've got a Ryzen 7 ah, uh, AMD. Nice. And then I went with... Uh, 2060 um gpu Mm -hmm. and i'm still searching for a 3070 which is like really hard right now because you know they just dropped a new graphic card that's like i know i came out to find came out today one is 600 another one's a thousand yeah and And they sold out in like 30 minutes i heard not not even bro like probably like 30 seconds 30 i heard it was crazy crazy my brother picked one up Oh, lucky. As a Christmas gift for his kid's PC. That's the greatest gift ever. <laughs> I had and one on Amazon and it got canceled. So I was just like, oh, oh really? man, it's yeah. great. He, he got his, he said Best Buy. Oh, that's good. Let's do Best Buy. That's um, definitely a great gift. And then um, everybody loves the word teraflops. Yeah. How many do you, how many do you have? Mm, I don't know. I would have to look into it. I don't All even right. Know. Teraflops. I don't even know. With all the new consoles coming out, that's a big thing. How yeah. many teraflops do you got? Yeah. I don't Carlos, how know. many teraflops do you have? No, I don't even know. All right. oh, you don't even know, man. Some people probably think that's fish or something. <laughs> Dennis, teraflops. I don't have enough. You don't have enough. Base. I like your I answer. Yeah. I, don't <laughs> I just don't have enough. enough. <laughs> Plus, I don't, do, um, I don't do online gaming. I mean, I used to, I used to play um, Call of Duty, Call of Duty uh, Mobile my phone and then i did like i did an emulation on my pc um because why not i mean use the keyboard right i can't yeah, i can't really yeah. i can't really play on my phone so it's too small for my well life. call of duty is is the go-to 
you know, when you play online streaming for sure. Cause I think everybody's used to it. They know what the game, you know, you can jump in and play it, right? You're used to playing it. Yeah. So we'll go around the horn. Uh, everybody just give a quick, uh, if you play online, what's, what do you play? What platform do you play on? What's your go-to game? We'll start with Carlos. What do you play online? What's your platform and what's your go-to game? Um, I, I'm just using my Xbox. Uh, I'm waiting for Xbox X. X series X. Yeah, Series X on Both next week. Um, right now, my go-to is uh, is FIFA 21. I play a lot of that online. And then in between, I, I'm a Fortnite guy. Uh, I stopped playing first-person shooter because, I mean, I used to play Call of Duty all the time. But when they started, you know, you could upgrade your character, make them look different, make you know. But when it's first-person, you can't tell. You can't really tell what your player looks like. You can see what the other guy looks like. But you can't see what you look like. That's what made third person more attractive to me, like Gears of War. Yeah. I love Gears of War. It's the first one I started with on third person. And then The Division. I love The Division and uh, Ghost Recon. So if it's third person, I mean, I'll be there to check it out. First person, the only first person game I'm playing right now is Star Wars Squadron. There we go. Dennis, what are you playing? What platform? What's your preferred game? Um, so the, the most recent one that I was playing with um, was Call of Duty Mobile on my, mm-hmm. my Pixel 3, um, and then kind of did, kind of switch between that and PC. Um, just what are you playing like on that. PC? Call of Duty also? No, just, yeah, Call of Duty. And then um, I have PS4. I play uh, Red Dead, Spider-Man. Ah, yes. Um, yeah, okay, there good you go. Stuff. Single then, player games. Yeah, I, I like first shooter stuff. Um, started with, you know, PC back in the days, uh, Counter-Strike, you know. Ah, old, yes. The classics. Counter-Strike. Classics. Um, Half-Life 2, you know, that's kind of the OG type of um, gaming and then you know got into the ps3 ps4 and then um you know looking into the uh ps5 and it, it kind of got i, I kind of got in a little bit into um the cloud gaming stuff like the stadia um, oh yeah yeah stadia yeah we'll yeah, get so, that we'll get we'll get to that we'll get yeah, to so it kind of is kind of dabble you know with that a little bit um something there you go I and maurice cool. what what do you play platform um what game do you typically play the most and uh anything you're looking forward to coming up well like uh already mentioned i I do uh i'm on pc i do dabble on ps4 depending on games like um, i do have a stack of games that i haven't played that i buy thinking i'm gonna play and i never do like monster world hunter stuff like that and um like spider-man never played it still have it unopened but um, the game, like I said, I play a lot is uh, Warzone. I've been dabbling in Among Us. I don't know if you guys have played or seen Among Us. It's no. a pretty cool like uh, game that you just can chill with your friends and kick back and lie to their face. You know, oh. it's one of those things. It's just like it's like Clue. Uh huh. But or marriage. Or marriage, yeah. It's, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's good, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's uh, but mainly Warzone. That's like my 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 daily grind. What I usually play nice. a lot. And how, how, how long do you how do you, how long do you play like each day? Like, um probably normally. like about four to five hours <laughs> Killing I, don't, it, bro. I don't try to do too much because like i know people that are streaming like eight hours especially with mm-hmm. facebook gaming yeah people i play with they have like an eight eight hour cutoff and then you're, oh, wow. you have uh, to okay. turn off the stream and redo another one if you want to go longer mm-hmm. and then are you looking forward to any upcoming games um yeah um cyber what's the one that i was looking at right now the cyberpunk Oh, yes, got delayed uh, yeah. until yeah, December that, now. Yeah, yep. it was supposed to come out in November, and it got mm-hmm. pushed back. Um, you know, I'm really looking forward to this, the PS5. That's the console that I'm, I, I've got. A, yeah. I've got one coming in. Nice. And I'm trying to see, like, this is supposed to be, like, the closest thing to a PC from a console. So let's see what happens, you know, see if it's so, good. I have to ask you, so what's, what's your um, favorite PC game, um, basically, of all time, if you had to pick one? Well, like, for me, That's like... I just got into PCs, so okay. like, I can't so, say like what's my favorite game. But favorite game of all time in general mm-hmm. is probably a uh, Final Fantasy VII. It's like that's go. the game <laughs> that put me in front of a TV with a controller like all the time. Like I started playing games back when Nintendo was big, like you know Duck Hunt and stuff like that. But what Nintendo? really got me, yeah. Nintendo? How old are you, day. man? Bro, I'm younger than you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know, it's like. That's what put me like got me the hook was 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 Final Fantasy VII. Yeah! Like then I started playing other games. Yeah, yeah, oh for sure, no, for sure. That's what got good. me hooked was um, Castlevania. That's that's dating me. Castlevania and Mega Man. 
That got me hooked. That's when I was loved playing video games. I mean, I mean that games. is Nintendo eight bit. Oh yeah, yes. oh, awesome stuff. Eight Bionic Commando. Kind of oh stuff. Yes. Bionic. Yes, Commando. I remember Bionic um, Commando. And there was another one I played a crap load of. Um, something Wings. You were like this, like almost like an angel looking, but you had a gun and you were. The game would scroll upwards. Oh yes, and then you can get um, your buddies would join in. You have like a partner yeah, that had wings yeah. as well. Um, yeah. It, damn it! Mm-hmm. And the wings is in the title. It's. <laughs> <laughs> a gun blast wing guy shoot those um i don't know uh yeah. but nintendo yeah for sure uh follow-up question because maurice brought it up um you're getting a ps5 uh carlos mm-hmm. has already stated he's getting himself a xbox series x mm-hmm. Dennis, are you getting a console i'm kind of debating on it if if i do i'm probably gonna get the digital version of it because i you know i'm too lazy to get out and get get you know get hard copies of the game um yeah 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 it's, yeah. Con- it's convenient I mean, it is. Uh, bad news, you're probably not going to get one at the moment. No. Nope. Pretty much sold out. I got myself a Series X also, um, mainly because it is slightly more powerful than the PS5. <laughs> and uh, I'm, a just, I'm just an Xbox gamer. I typically p- play FIFA uh, a lot, way too much at the moment. Um, <laughs> and then I don't really do online like against p- other people because I don't want my feelings hurt. So <laughs> I will get my morals destroyed and everything. I'll let people at work will be like, what the hell's wrong with you today? Yes. Shut up, damn it. I hate Fortnite. I never get to win. <laughs> I think I have two wins on Fortnite. Two total wins. And I played like 500 rounds of it. You know, like, tough, man. It's, it's a tough life. It's yeah. a tough life. It you know, sucks it's funny. When you're getting beat by like these like 15 year old kids. Yeah. Like my nephew's nine and he has like a 200 wins. Yeah. You never want to let them know how old you are. Cause you know, they're like 12 on the other end. Yeah. Just stomping you. Now, oh yeah. I talk like this to them. Hey man, <laughs> this is Fortnite, bro. Hey, you want some candy? Uh, I tell you what, man, meet me in the back of target. What? <laughs> <laughs> delete that. Delete that. I, I know where you that. live, but yeah. Yeah. No, Go ahead, Carlos. Like, well, obviously, Xbox and PlayStation is, is like Coke and Pepsi, right? I mean, it's a total battle between the two people. Hey, you have a PlayStation, you suck. Or you have an Xbox, you suck. Ooh. But the two new consoles coming out, one thing, I mean, I'm, I, I think I'll always be an Xbox guy. I had a PlayStation when it first came out, and it was great. But when Xbox hit and it came out with Gears of War, that's what sucked me in. You can see my Delta Squad hat. And it's uh, between the two consoles, though, to ps5 is a beautiful machine Ooh. i mean that design is great man dude it's it's man. sexy and it's the sexy. texture on it, it yeah. i saw a video the texture the on the it's x's and o's and triangles and whatever the controller shows it's Squares. textured with it's beautiful yes i mean the xbox just is just a big rectangle with a green light on top yes but, but are you going to hug it caress it love it it doesn't it matter. The People like the aesthetics of their stuff. I mean, think about it. You have this beautiful it's machine like sitting on your entertainment photo. center. I mean, it just it catches the eye. It's a big white. It's awesome. It's oh, just, no, true. I, it's massive. It's compared to the Xbox. It's massive. It, you know what's funny? Um, I think the, the white version of the Xbox actually looks better than the... You mean the Series S, the yeah, all digital the, version. The lighter it version. It does look good. It, does, it's it actually looks better. The, it looks good uh, compared to the... Um, I think so because of the white, the white color... I think it's um, smaller too. The other one just looks like a big shoebox. It looks like a fridge, I, like a mini yeah. fridge. Yeah, have you seen yeah. the video? They yeah. actually did a promo video where they wheeled this thing out. Out is a huge Xbox. It turned out to be a refrigerator. They opened it mm-hmm. in the refrigerator. They gave one to Snoop Dogg and Dogg. Oh, did they? No. They've yeah. actually sent a bunch of them out. But um, but yeah, let's jump over to um, if you guys have used streaming services such as Stadia, Xbox now has cloud gaming where you can play. Any game, anywhere, anytime via Game Pass. Doesn't matter the device you use, which is awesome. Um, what other, what else is out there? I mean, Apple has their own There's, gaming, but Amazon's trying to get into get into the game too. Into um, that space. Doesn't Am- surprise me. Yeah, Amazon announced that they're gonna have their own version of you know basically Stadia. Oh, and of course the other one is Steam. That's probably the most popular. Steam is the Nvidia, most right? popular. Yeah. Yeah, Steam is definitely the most popular streaming. Uh, uh, gaming. So anybody use any of those by any chance? Uh, we'll start with Maurice. Um, I use Steam. Um, I, I use Steam for like finding new games, new content. You'd be mm-hmm. surprised. There's a lot of stuff on there that you don't even know it's out there. Um, what was it's the true. last one? It's true. 
what was it? Because I feel like Steam's more like a like an indie platform. Like you know, like yes. you can kind of like create your own game and throw it on Steam, and somebody will try it out. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what the last game that I bought off of Steam. But you're right because Steam actually has some games that Microsoft went out and bought to make exclusive for their Correct. console coming out. But they've mm-hmm. been on Steam. You can mm-hmm. play them now if you want. There's stuff um, that are like they're they're still in their like alpha or beta stages. Mm-hmm. So I mean that that is the upside to Steam and Xbox is any independent gamer or creator can upload their games to both those s- services. Yeah, and you can you, people can try them out all day. Uh, Dennis, how about you? I know you said you play Stadia, right? Yeah, so I was one of the um, you know the I guess the one of the they call it the founders. I got the founders edition for Stadia. So basically, you you kind of pay uh, you kind of one of the first people that gets the Stadia, and you know it, it comes with the special edition type of controller. Um, how much is Stadia? I think I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it. Probably over a hundred bucks. Um, but what's the monthly fee on it? Oh, it's ten dollars. It's ten dollars. Pretty um, cheap. It's pretty much the same as um, you know Microsoft and Steam. Other, yeah, it's the Steam and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, there's you know I started with it and then you know I I I really didn't. I mean, I just kind of want to check it out. No, just want to test it out and and see, you know, how it how it kind of how it kind of compares. Um, you know, I just want to be like a, a an early adopter uh, for such you know some something kind of unique. But yeah, I mean, some, there's some goods and you know, there's some good, some bads that kind of influence me into getting one. But um, I just want to hear you guys' thought of what do you, what do you think about the platform and you know? Oh, for sure. Like I have Game Pass on Xbox. Um, you get a just a huge library of games to play. You get all the Halos, Gears of War, anything that they make. You get off the bat. Um, if I can play it on my phone if I want, and it streams high quality to the phone. Um, I don't care to play stuff on my phone like that. You know what I mean? I like to play mobile games made for the mobile device. I don't necessarily want to stream Stadia and Xbox on my phone. I can, I have patience. I can wait till I get home, but um, I don't, yeah, I don't really stream um, off of streaming uh, servers and that type of platform. I stick to the console gaming. Uh, I think Carlos, from what I know of, he doesn't do that either whatsoever. He, he is strictly a console gamer himself. Um, Yeah. uh, I mean, I have a Twitch account. I tried it for a little bit, but I didn't, I don't know. I don't really see the appeal. And that's why, that's part of the reason I'm glad Maurice is on because that's one of the questions I had was what is the appeal of being an, you know, an online gamer? I mean, I know you want to grow your audience, let people watch you. But to me, it's like, like my nephew, he watches Minecraft videos and other things on YouTube. He watches these people play the games, but he doesn't play the game. So what is the appeal of that? I mean, I mean, I, I, I guess I can call myself a gamer, but I don't stream my stuff. So does that make me a gamer? I mean, I like to play. I mean, I'll, and I'll play till, you know, I'm, until they bring me a freaking console in the old folks home, right? But does that make me a gamer because I don't stream or am I not a gamer? You know what I'm saying? So what's the appeal of it? You know, um, I think a lot of it's like, for me, the appeal of watching other streamers is to get better. You know, the, the people that I watch, they're like leaps and bounds better than me. You know, and you see the way they play, the stuff they do. They do stuff that you don't even think of that you kind of watch. And uh, for me personally, why I wanted to stream was uh, building a community, building like a following, and then, you know, just trying something different. Um, I'm always the type of person that likes to see how far I can take something, you know, from ground zero, like everything I do. Ground zero, see how far you can go with it. Nice, nice. Where do you see yourself um you know, like a year or six months from now uh, doing streaming? Uh, man, if I could have like at least a 1, thousand, 1500 followers, I'll be happy, you know, and just keep going from there. It's a grind. All it takes is one moment. And, you know, you see these guys like streaming kind of like, I think was a offshoot of YouTube, you know, like when people mm-hmm. still do YouTube videos and then how it came from YouTube to like, Oh wait, I can actually show myself playing a video game. And it's kind of like the same thing. All it takes is one moment to like make you explode. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. I mean, I think it it, it is a grind because we take, for instance, the rapper Logic, as you know, he went over yeah. to Twitch, signed uh-huh. a big contract, 
and he only gets about 50,000 viewers and you would assume he'd get more because his fan base and yeah. music is millions. Yeah. But guess what? That fan base doesn't care to watch him play video games. Yeah. They want to listen to his music. It's his music. Man. Who else did I just see? I just saw um, T-Pain. T-Pain, T-Pain on Twitch. Yeah. I saw him. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yep. Exactly. And then for me, I don't watch Twitch gamers. I'll go to YouTube just to watch people play new games to kind of give me an insight. Mm-hmm. Hey, you know, guys will get the game early. Hey, guys, check it out. I got Assassin's Creed Valhalla early. Mm-hmm. You know, just check this out. And I'll just be, oh, the game looks sick. And that's it. You know what I mean? I want to play it. I don't want to watch you play it. I want to play it. But um, but I see the appeal of people watching it. I mean, like Carlos said, my nephew loves watching people play Minecraft. My daughter was the same way. Like, I remember when my daughter was little, she used to like nothing but Minecraft. And I'm like, why, why do you want to watch it? Mm-hmm. It's on the computer. Go play. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Just go play it. Yeah. 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 No, that's great. That's great. Um, so it looks like we have uh, two console players, one hardcore PC player, and a guy that likes to play on his Pixel 3. <laughs> <laughs> right? Pixel 3, Dennis? Pixel? Um, I used to, but not, not anymore. anymore. Not anymore. I got you. You still play Farmville? <laughs> Um, nope. Yeah. Mafia Wars. Pick your, Oregon pick your tomatoes. Pick your Oregon tomatoes. <laughs> they will die. No, I'm not, I'm not a, on Facebook as much no, either. No, I mean, Facebook, I, don't... I mean, Facebook gaming was huge for a minute and then you know, it was, it was basically Farmville and then that's it. Yeah. Um, that's awesome though. All right. Well, Maurice, I know you have something to plug. Uh, I know you're also a sneaker head that I know for a fact. So real quick, uh, how many pairs of sneakers do you own? Personally, personal collection, I probably have over probably like 70, 80 pairs. And then and what's your uh, what's your number one cream of, the, cream of the crop shoe you own? My Jordan one fragment. OK, OK. Was that a what tough, that look like? tough get? Uh, I can grab it if you guys yeah, want right. to see it. Go ahead. Yeah, grab thing. it. Grab it. We'll play some elevator music. I mean, you can't see because we're, you know, it's a podcast, but you can catch behind the scenes. You can see it. That's right. I want to see this thing. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So the shoe that he is showing us is basically the original Air Jordan, but it is the color of the Indianapolis Colts. Yeah. It was actually like a, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's like a little brand on the heel. I see that. Okay. And it was a a collab with a company called Fragment from Japan. Ah, okay. Mm. Nice. 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 hard, Hard to find. And I know you travel to get your shoes, right? You probably go to LA and so forth. Yeah, I've been to LA. Um, yeah. Depending on releases, like if I can get like three or four pairs of a certain release, I'll drive down there. It's not, a, it's Sneaker worth heads it. Are crazy people. Super crazy. Crazy people. So, There's a place here in Koreatown where all the shoes are wrapped in uh, riff. plastic, silicone, what, like you know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. And you can, only, you can only see one of them, the left mm-hmm. or the right. You can't mm-hmm. try them on. Nope. And then you go, where did you get this sneaker? They don't sell this anywhere. Oh, it's $1,500. Yeah. I, I will never wear this pair of sneakers in my life. <laughs> those right now, those that I just had, mm-hmm. uh, they're brand new. Like if I never wore them, they're like 5K. Yeah. So you don't wear them at all. Then. You've never wore those. I wear mine. So now they're $3,700. Like, like to the 30, kitchen, right? To the 36. kitchen and back. Yeah. yeah. That's where I would yeah. wear them. Right? Oh, no, I wear the them all over the place. I wear oh, them all over the place. Oh, you are the worst sneaker head possible. Yeah. I don't care. I think yeah. I went to, I wore Lord. those to a Travis Scott concert that uh, was well, like ha- outside in the rain. And oh, people are like, you're wow. wearing those? I'm like, yeah, I don't care. Yeah. Travis like, Scott, you know, he dragged you out, got your shoes all had wet. To, bro. That's had just to. Astro. Wait, right? Is that Astro World? Astro World. Yeah. Astro World. Yeah. That's cool. That's, and then you, you are you part of a gaming squad or, or let people know where they can find you online? You can find me on uh, Facebook Gaming. It's basically uh, Bloody Ghoul Gaming. That's uh, what I go by. I go by Bloody Ghoul, but I just made my channel Bloody Ghoul Gaming. Um, like I said, brand new, 300 followers. If you like, go ahead and try to get on there. Like, give me a follow. I play with whoever. I have a, a group of people I play with. I play with other co-streamers, and then I play with people that watch, too, if they want. Awesome. Bloody Ghoul Gaming. Check yep. it out on Facebook. Is it Facebook uh, Gaming? Is that like, yeah. or do you just go through Facebook to get to it? You can go, you can actually go on your phone if you don't have a Facebook account and mm-hmm. download Facebook Gaming. Okay, so it's, an, it's, it's, a, a, it's, it's its own It's pretty app. much their own version of Twitch and yep. YouTube streaming. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Awesome, awesome. Anything else you got for us? Um, Yeah, if you guys are sneakerheads and you guys like buying, selling, trading, uh, looking into like information, check out my other Facebook group. It's called Sack Soul Society. We got about 4,000 members. 
we buy, sell, ship across all of California, across the states. We do it all. And do you guys specialize in Skechers or Tom? Ha! Ha! <laughs> Neither. <laughs> Neither. <laughs> I'm actually I'm not, looking for a pair of Chuck Taylors. I could uh, probably get you some though. That is a Nike uh, brand. Very nice. That is a, a Nike brand. That is true. That is a Nike brand. Is it really? It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They bought Converse. They bought yeah. Converse. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. All right. Well, thanks, Maurice, for stopping by, talking about some gaming, some sneakers. Um, we'll definitely have you on future episodes when new games come out. And yeah, man. as yeah. you know, gaming the graphics cards and of course teraflops. Teraflops. I'm gonna have to look into that. I'm like, I don't even know. Teraflops. So teraflops, basically, real quick. You got eight of them in the PlayStation, and you got twelve in the new Xbox. Oh, uh, Xbox is like what? You know, is it called RDNA? RDNA. Yep. Okay, so the PlayStation only has one point five. The Xbox has two point oh. <gasps> you watch out, you play, you watch out, you PS five people. They're coming for you. All right, yeah. thanks for stopping by. We'll nah, be man. back after this break with what is it? Nerds talking. All right. Nerds Thanks, talking. guys. Thank you. Thank you. Later. Awesome. Nerds Talking Music provided by J Diggs. Check them out at J Diggs Music on social media. And all hot new music on digital outlets such as Spotify, Apple, and Amazon Music. With his new single, Both Ways. Welcome back to Nerds Talking, presented by NerdsReviews.com. That was gaming. So if you want some more gaming, go to our website. We reviewed a couple of games this week. Uh, Madden 21, FIFA 21, uh, the Mafia Definitive Edition, and Avengers. Yes! Check that out on NerdsReviews.com. Also, we have a ton of movie reviews. It just never ends. As we review a movie right now that is on Netflix called The Social Dilemma. And if you guys haven't seen it, check it out, especially if you feel like you're a little addicted to social media. And why does social media keep on reading your mind, knowing what you're looking at, what you're going to look up next? Are they listening to you? We'll find out. Dennis, you watch Social Dilemma. Let me know what you think. Well, first of all, I think it's it's something that's you know everyone has just been talking about you know telling me like oh this is something that you need to check out it's, it's you know it's uh, yeah it's something that it's a must see um, from <clears throat> from everyone's point of view um, I checked it out it's it's good um, I think it's a real eye opener type of um, do- documentary uh, just a lot of surprising bits of information that I think people kind of know about already um, it's just a matter of you know now, now it's just everyone that works in the industry is just kind of kind of speaking out and just kind of uh, you know giving their side of the story what, what did you take away from it what did, did you learn anything from it or like you said it's stuff you already were aware of it, well I mean you know it's some some are pretty obvious right like you know stuff that uh, data you know harvesting of data. Um, see that's the thing um i assume the normal person that just uses facebook like older people or even younger people aren't necessarily quite aware of that like we are and it's nothing new i watched it and i just thought this is nothing new this is okay sure whatever Yippee! but i do think some people <clears throat> will be shocked by what they learn and one person told me oh my god i'm never using facebook again i'm like why <gasps> facebook's not gonna change it's still gonna be the same for you saying hi to your friends and giving people likes who cares? So, yeah, Carlos, what did you think of Social Dilemma? Well, honestly, I I didn't learn anything new. I knew this was going on. Um, and then even before I watched this, I actually cut back on a lot of my online um, interaction, I guess. Like, I'm not on Facebook as much as I used to, not on Instagram as much as I used to. I rarely go on Twitter. I'm on Twitter maybe once every three weeks. I don't find the appeal. I don't. I don't know. There's something about... Before I used to, you know, oh, I posted something. How many likes can I get? But now I'm like, I don't care. It doesn't affect my life. It doesn't pay my bills. And, you know, and, and I know it does to a lot of people. A lot of people go through a depression if they don't get the likes that they want, you know. And it's me. You know, it's it must be hard for people like that. But it, it is. Uh, man, I, I don't know how to explain it. 
It's it's something that it, that these companies have created. And then it, it reminds me of, I don't know if you read uh, Dan Brown's last novel, but at the end, the AI was explaining how there's a new cancer taking over the world. And that cancer was actually social media. Yeah, you could see true. how it was just that's... sucking up everything. It was just covering the planet. And that's um, that's a big part of what social dilemma is about. It's about the what you just said. The dilemma is that people are addicted to social media and they take everything at face value when they read it and they believe everything they see on there. They don't really go and check for themselves. Oh, I read this. Oh, I saw that. Oh, this guy, that guy. That's how it is. I, I go to Twitter mostly because of the funny stuff I see people post or politics. <laughs> Uh, pol- well, not necessarily politics Dick on picks? Twitter. Ooh. Um, Twitter. I only follow Donald Trump on Twitter because it's Twitter, right? It's like, yeah, it's like following a comedian, like a drunk, really drunk uncle on on Twitter. Like he just types crazy stuff. I love reading it. Um, but no, I don't. I don't know. I thought the movie, or should say, doc- it's more of a documentary, I guess. It's fine. I think if people aren't aware of what's happening and they watch it, they are gonna freak out. Oh my god. I can't believe they know I'm looking for a new golf club. I didn't tell anybody, but yet they served me an ad. So. You, know the, you know, the biggest takeaway for me, and it's something that's sort of relative new to me was um, just not just the, the data aspect of it and just targeting certain people, but how, you know, the psychology of keeping you glued to your screen, right? Like, mm-hmm. you know, having the YouTube kids um, just kind of have that, uh, you know, that, you know, they built uh, this machine that sort of appeals to the kids, uh, you know, to, to wide array of uh, audience. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. YouTube. Yeah. It's, it's, so it's, it's so the, the, very true. You know, the algorithm of having to keep you glued on your, on your screen mm-hmm. and not have mm-hmm. to go away. I think it's the biggest thing, not just the data, because you're essentially, mm-hmm. you're kind of like always craving that, that need to check your social media, having to check. Yeah. The, the likes, yeah. having to, you know, check all these things that, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't really sort of add anything. I mean, could you imagine being someone else so popular that your phone constantly goes off and you're mentioned all the time and and people are saying this and that about you and so on? Like any celebrity, basically, that probably has a publicist that runs their social media and reads everything and this and that. It's just, it's nuts. But for me, like I said... It was it was an okay watch, nothing new. Um, I can't really review it because it's not a movie. It's just informative. It's it's whatever. But um, you know, like again, for me, it was nothing new. It was like, yeah, I know that already. Why do you think when I open up YouTube, they serve me? You should watch all this, and it's all stuff I want to see. Oh, I want to see this. Oh, I just I was looking at that yesterday. Oh, and they know what I want to watch, and that's just how social media is. So, you know, in the biggest downside for me as far as social media is the constant advertising. It's like, damn it. Like now I have to buy this shit now. Like, well, you don't have to buy anything, but that's the idea. I know, right? but I mean, like, yeah, it, it, I feel like I've bought like a few, you know, a few so things. You, so it I don't, works. you know, you know, what's funny. I don't really, I mean, ever since I lost my, my farm in Farville back in the days, um, mm, 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 mm. um you know, and, and, I gotcha. and I quit the mafia. Oh yeah, you quit the <laughs> What kind of life do you live? You were you were a farmer that went bankrupt. It was probably during Obama's years, right? And then uh, you were in a mafia. Exactly. And right then you out. That's exactly what it, that's exactly when it was, right? You Obama. got kicked out of the mafia. Yep. Oh my God! Jesus. All because social media it was Don Corleone going. Dennis, get off the goddamn Twitter. But you know already. what's when you know I only go to Facebook. I, you know I quit for you know for the longest time. I I've never had it for maybe a couple of years. I just came back recently for the marketplace, and that's really the most you know most of the time I spend is just basically go in and basically you know try to you know buy some stuff or sell some stuff in there. That and, is you know, I, get, I get lured into like looking at my feed and then, I, you know, no, of course. So that's the idea. That's the idea. Uh, finishing remarks, Carlos, anything on social dilemma? But so, I mean, it, it, it pretty just reiterated what, why I don't go to social media uh, as much as I used to. I hate that. If I look up something up, like the other day, I looked up uh, apple cider vinegar on Amazon just to see the cost of it. Now my Facebook is filled with this stupid ad for these gummies called Ghoulie or something Ooh, like that. Yeah, or Ghoulie. Those, Ghoulie. Mm-hmm. Ghoulie. Those are good. Those are good. Just gummies, good. apple cider vinegar. Look, man, mm-hmm. 
fuck off, man. I, I wow. looked it up on Amazon. <laughs> Don't tell me what I'm looking for on Facebook. And, I'm, and it's on my Instagram, <laughs> too, because <laughs> Facebook bought Instagram. So that's so, why I don't like it. I don't like it. Look, when my dad passed away of cancer, uh, when he had cancer, all my stupid in my feed, all I kept saying is, oh, this cures cancer. This cures cancer. This cancer. This cancer. I'm like, again, fuck off, man. Stop trying to feed off, you know, my emotions or whatever it is. And just let me use it as I want to use it. So that's why I stopped going as much as I do. I mean, so, I like going to Instagram because mm -hmm. I do a lot of art and I like, I like the feedback. I enjoy the feedback, but at the same time, if it's, if it's trying to take over my thoughts, I don't need it. I can do without it. So you would probably wrap it up as apple cider vinegar ruined your life. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. All right. Social that's dilemma. It. There we go. That's it. on Netflix. You can check it out. Uh, we'll be right back after this. So stay tuned to nerds talking nerdsreviews.com. We can get all your movie games, tech and more info insight reviews even join us and be a reviewer yourself join the podcast all are invited on nerds talking the podcast presented by nerdsreviews.com check it out Nerds talking back in action here with Carlos and Dennis, and I'm your host, Lafayette. Presented by nerdsreviews.com, your home for all your movies, reviews, games, and tech, and more. And you want to join us? You want to be a reviewer? You want to join the podcast? Check it out on nerdsreviews.com for more information. Up next is our review and take on the HBO Max original, yet it's a remake, of The Witches starring Anne Hathaway. So we'll go to Carlos. I assume you saw it because we have a review on the website, unless you just read that and cheated. Go ahead and let us know what you thought. I found it entertaining. I, uh, because it had a, it had a good pace. It, it didn't slow down. I didn't think it slowed down at all. And then, uh, I really liked, I really liked that little kid who played hero. I mean, he's pretty good at what he did. It was, it was a good, it was a good showing, man. Um, I would give it, I mean, it, it's a remake. I'm not really big on remakes. Um, if you want to reboot something, that's cool. But remakes, I'm just not really big on it. So I give it a three out of five. I mean, I, I love Anne Hathaway. Uh, but yeah, three out of five. Did you see the original by any chance? I didn't. I was going okay. to, but I didn't have time. I just... Gotcha. That's, that's on Netflix if anybody's interested. To okay. See the Witches starring Angelica Houston. Houston. Uh, Dennis, what's your thoughts on The Witches? <laughs> Um, yeah, same, same as Carlos. Um, I was going to look it up, just kind of do the comparison, but I didn't have time for it. Apparently, um, the original one was supposed to be scarier than, than the remake version of it um, because of the, you know, the way they portrayed the witch and all that stuff. Um, I, I think it was a pretty decent uh, family movie. It started out, you know, it's, it has that sort of a Disney type of vibe to it, a family kind of um, entertainment. Um, I think the mix of CGI sort of made it less daunting and make, you know made it less uh, scarier for little kids. Definitely scared my kids a little bit. Um, there's some parts to it, you know, where they kind of accentuated, you know, the witch's face just kind of made it. Um, With the big yeah. mouth. The big mouth and all that stuff. And yeah, then there's yeah, some yeah, stuff yeah, where, yeah. you know, they were kind of like, uh, going after the the mice. Oh the yeah, mice yeah. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah, so, what did you review? Know. What's what's your rating out of five? I would I would put it. I I didn't really enjoy it as I was kind of hoping. I would ex, you know I was hoping to enjoy it. Um, I would give it a three just for entertainment value. Um, it's not for me. It's it's more for you know I think for younger. Oh, it is. It's for a younger yes. audience. Yeah, yeah, it's for a younger audience. Uh, three out of five. We got two three out of fives on the board. Uh, my take is pretty much similar. It is almost an identical remake to the one from 1990, from 30 years ago. The difference primarily is back then they used practical effects and the witches did look a lot scarier. Very gruesome looking, ugly, big nose. Their faces look like they're melting. Um, 
but this one was good. I thought it was just a fun movie to watch. It was enjoyable. Um, you know, even though I know the st- story was going, the effects were really well done, except for the cat. The cat looked horribly fake. But other than that, um, no, it was a fun movie. It is. I think that is a great kids movie, Halloween movie, because it's not really that scary. <laughs> Um, I think kids will laugh at certain parts. Uh, and like you said, the kid that played the, the main, uh, I, don't, I don't know what his name was in the movie. Hero. And his name was Hero? Hero. Um, he was good. He was very good. And so was the grandma, which is also played by a famous actress. And I always forget her name, but it's okay. Check out Witches on HBO Max. I give it a three out of five. Everybody basically give it the same score. So three out of five. It's also up on our website. Read the review there at nerdreviews.com. We'll be right back after this with our final wrap-up recommendations for your upcoming streaming Halloween weekend. Right back to Nerds Talking by NerdReviews.com. As we wrap it up, we are going to give you our recommendations for your streaming services as Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, HBO Max, Apple TV, Peacock, CBS All Access. Man, there's so many these days. So we're going to start with Carlos. Give us your reviews and maybe possibly what to not watch this Halloween weekend. Well, if you've not seen The Umbrella Academy on Netflix, I highly recommend it. Great show. They've got two seasons out. So for this week, I recommend Umbrella Academy. And also, last week, you did not like Hoops, but I find Hoops to be very funny. It's an animated show on Netflix. It's an adult comedy. Keep the kids away just because it's animated doesn't mean kids have to watch it. So Hoops and Umbrella Academy on netflix and if you have hbo max perry mason is a must must watch very good show whether you're a fan of the original or not very very good show executive producers are robert downey jr and i'm gonna unfortunately just say his wife because i don't remember her name Mm, there we go and to avoid if you don't want to waste your time Avoid Barbarians on Netflix. I put my review on nerdsreviews.com. It is a Game of Thrones wannabe, and it's very predictable, very, very predictable, and very boring. That's it for me. There you go. Dennis, give us your recommendations for streaming this Halloween weekend. I actually have a, I have a, I have a few recommendations. Right, go I'm just going to bring it. up some old school one. Um, hey, Sabrina, no problem. Sabrina is a good one. Um, Sabrina, the, the new one or the original? Sabrina, the, the Netflix, gotcha. the, the new one. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's a really good one. Um, I also recommend uh, Shit's Creek. Yep, that's uh, a good yes. one. Shits it's Creek a really good. funny one. Um, I enjoyed that one. Um, and my last recommendation, I've already put a review on the website. Check it out. Queen's Gambit. Yes, I heard that's very good. It's very good. It's one, I think I watch quite a bit of... Um, tv series on netflix and i think it's one of the their top one of their top offerings uh that's what i've of heard all of. time of all time yeah i've heard it's like one of the best shows i've ever made yep. the queen and, 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 and having played chess back in the days um i think I, I can totally attest how you know how realistic they portrayed the players and how they play the game even though they're you know actors and all that stuff but you know they, they really did a really good job um just portraying the the characters and the time period, um, the competitiveness, the chess. Uh, check out the review if you haven't checked it out yet. There you go. Uh, and if you guys aren't aware, everything they've mentioned <clears throat> so far has been on Netflix. So we know what they watch primarily. Netflix. Uh, I'll give you some Halloween ones for the weekend. Hulu, go watch Castle Rock. It's a great show. Uh, it's a, a Stephen King uh based show he didn't write any of it it's just based on his characters castle rock on uh hulu definitely check that out um also looking for a good scary movie on hulu you can watch bad hair it's an it's a hulu original check that out or books of blood which is actually from uh bloom house and or and if you never saw the hannibal tv show it is excellent yeah check it out also hulu uh, so I'm giving you the Hulu magic 
and they gave you the Netflix magic. Um, you guys have any recommendations? One movie recommendation each for Halloween. Anybody, anything. It can be old school. It can be what you think is the scariest, what you think. If you're going for anything, scary and really chill factor, ahead. edge of your seat. Oh, okay. The Strangers. Go ahead. The Strangers. All right. And what's that on? Any specific uh, or just in general? Just watch no, The Strangers. No, just in general. I don't know where you can find it. I have a copy got of it. it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, Dennis, how about you? I'm going to have to go back. Um, if if you guys like those kind of stuff, uh, I recommend the, uh, the let, let the Right One In. It's a foreign... It, there's a u.s remake of oh, it but yes um, i know what you're talking about mm -hmm. but the original one i think it was french i believe um you should check that out um yeah, it's a really good movie it's a little movie. vampire flick it's yeah it it's is. a little it's vampire, vampire flick. it's like one of the yeah. classics um yeah. conjuring is a good one uh if you kind of like in that a bit more uh, hardcore go type of Halloween stuff. I do like those type of movies, The Conjuring. I yep. do. I would recommend if you have Amazon Prime, watch Hereditary. It is, it is, uh, it is going to shock you. you. The twist in it is like, holy crap, where did that come from? Oh, is it a Hereditary. Show no, it it's a, a movie. Or? Okay. Uh, Amazon Prime. Um, check, it out. check it out. There you go. That's your Halloween movies recommendations. And of course, it's your streaming recommendations for the weekend or the whole week until you see us next time. Thanks for joining us here on Nerds Talking, the podcast presented by nerdsreviews.com. Yes. Anything else, fellas, before we go? Our very treasure. That's it from me. That's it. Carlos out. Dennis is out. And we are out. Join us next time on Nerds Talking, the podcast. Music provided by J Diggs at J Diggs Music. Don't forget to subscribe, turn notifications on, and download to listen on the go to Nerds Talking the Podcast.